Understanding the sin of greed in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that often pops up in literature and discussions about character traits, the sin of greed. Stick around to discover its meaning and use in the English language. The phrase, sin of greed, refers to the excessive or rapacious desire and pursuit of material possessions. Greed is often considered one of the seven deadly sins in various cultural teachings, which labels it as a morally corrupt and undesirable trait. This concept is not just limited to money or wealth, it can also refer to an insatiable desire for power or status. The term, seven deadly sins, comes from early Christian teachings that describe the most dangerous vices that lead to other sins and immoral behavior. Greed, or avarice, is one of them. The sin of greed implies that greed is not just a bad habit, but a serious moral failing that can harm oneself and others. The sin of greed is a common theme in many stories and fables. It serves as a moral lesson against the dangers of excessive greed. Classic examples include the tale of King Midas, whose greed for gold leads to tragedy, or Ebenezer Scrooge from Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol, who learns the hard way that wealth is not the key to happiness. You can use this phrase to describe situations or characters that are negatively affected by their own greed. For example, his relentless pursuit of profit is a clear display of the sin of greed. It's a powerful way to highlight the moral aspect of someone's behavior. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this discussion on the sin of greed has provided you with valuable insights into this complex English phrase. Remember, language learning is not just about words, but also about the ideas and values they convey. See you in the next video.